Alright guys, Mech here with Drug Tech, back again with another video for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience with the Huawei FreeBuds 3 after using it for about 3 days. But before that, I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing to show you what comes in the package. So, I got my Huawei FreeBuds 3 for 539 ringgit while it's retailing at the Huawei store for 679 ringgit. It's a big difference. And I'll leave the link in the description below so you can check that out if you do want to get a pair for yourself. Okay, so here goes the Huawei FreeBuds 3. You can see I got mine in uh, black, carbon black as they call it. You can see very nice presentation, nothing really much. And here are the features. So you can see there's a Kirin A1 chip and there's basically noise cancellation and it is also water resistant. So it's really good package overall and really worth it for the price. Of course, you're not going to be getting AirPods Pro level of quality, but for the price, this is definitely a big win right here. So let's open the package. You can see, very nice. You get another sleeve inside which says Huawei on the front. And inside here, that's where the free buds are. But of course, I already took them out and I'm using a case right here because, you know, glossy black cases always do scratch up really quickly. Let me take this out of the box. Let me show you what else comes inside. So you get this QR code, which is where you can download the app, but you can just go to the Play Store and get it downloaded. Just key in Huawei AI Live app and it'll be there. So no issues right there. Okay, this is where the USB Type-C cable. Well, of course, I won't be using this because it supports wireless charging as well. So I use my wireless charger most of the time. So let's put that back in the box. Let's see what else comes in the package. So you can see this is your your quick start guide in multiple languages. So that's about it here. Okay, let's put all of that to the side. Let's focus on the free buds itself. All right, so the free buds is basically Huawei's version of the Apple AirPods. And my experience with them has been really, really good. Basically, the open to pair works like a charm. You can see right here, you can see. FreeBuds 3 connected, very fast, very efficient. And I've never had a single time where it failed to connect. So I think connection wise, I got to give credit to Huawei considering the price. I mean, really, really worth it. Okay, let's take a look around the case itself. So you can see USB type C with uh, LED indicator. Basically nothing else. You can see Huawei branding with the hinge. So this is kind of opposite compared to the AirPods. So you would think that you would charge wirelessly by putting it like this face up but actually it's on the other side. The reason being the hinge is metal and wireless charging doesn't work when there's a metal object in its place because you actually bounce back the electromagnetic waves. Okay so that being said kind of quirky but yeah it works way better than the airpods too with the char wireless charging case okay so on the inside you can see there's a small green led which shows you charging status of the earbuds very nice take them out and when you put them into your ear they start playing when you take them out of your ear it just disconnects but of course that works only on android devices sad to say that i tried with my iphone and none of the features work in fact the noise cancellation is pretty crap on ios because you can't adjust the level of noise cancellation. When you take it off, it doesn't pause the music. So basically it doesn't do crap. So if you're using an iOS device, forget about it. Do not get the Huawei FreeBuds 3. But however, if you're on Android, this is probably the best solution. And I should say that I would totally recommend this because this is number one open back. If you like the open back design, it's great. Even if you're used to in-ear style earphones, this would be a great alternative because the noise cancellation works like passive noise isolation. The good thing about an uh, open back design is that you won't get ear fatigue because it's just resting on the outsides of your ear. Basically, I can listen to this all day long until the battery is drained out and I will not feel a thing because number one, it's very light and it fits really well in my ears, at least for my ear shape. So it's best if you went to a Huawei experience store and tried this for yourself. I mean, um, I'm really not disappointed considering the price I paid. Okay, let's take a look at the app itself. So let me open this. Let me connect it to my P30 Pro right here. So I have to look for the AI Live app. So this is the app you will have to download if you do want to pair this and use the features. 
So you can see they are connected. I don't know why it's in white. I wish it would show black, but anyway, that's a small nitpick. Okay, you can see it is connected. And there are a couple of options. You can see the earbuds are 100%, the case is at 95%. Battery life is pretty good on this as well. So I have to give credit to Huawei. So you can see all the status right here. The shortcuts are basically your double tap function. So you can set it to your preference right here. I left it as default because I think that's pretty probably the best setting you can get. You don't really need play and pause because when you take out the earbud, it pauses the music. So that's good enough. But the noise cancellation is something I will talk about later on through this video. But anyway, double tap, left earbud for noise cancellation. We're so really good options right here. Nothing to complain about. Okay, let me leave that open. So it will be connected. Okay, let's go back. You can see right here next, we have noise cancellation. Okay, this is the part where I think Huawei really needs to work on it. I mean, it's a, probably a software issue. So, okay, you see this round dial right here. Look at it carefully and think, what do you think is the function of this? You would think that as you rotate this knob, noise cancellation will get more aggressive. And when you turn it anti-clockwise, you'll get less. But this dial is actually the frequency of what the noise cancellation cancels out. So it depends if I'm in the room, if I turn this dial, sometimes it will be cancelling the aircon sound, for example, or my tower fan right here. Or sometimes it's just basically ambient noise, like maybe my water pump up there. So it's not something that is really, really user-friendly, I should say. So you have to keep turning out the dial, and if you go to different, different places, like in a cafe, you will have to readjust this. There's no sweet spot for the right amount of noise cancellation so I'm really really disappointed with that but however I think the, the point where I said is basically the best for all environments it's not really Apple AirPods Pro level but it works nevertheless and one more thing I have to mention is that the noise cancellation goes on and off I should say I'm not sure whether mine is a defective unit but I noticed that if I do have some wind blowing to my earbud one of my earbud the noise cancellation will start to cancel out less frequencies and i think that is not really a good experience i hope they, it gets fixed with the latest software update i already updated to the latest software but it's still having the same issues so probably i'll contact huawei regarding that but overall noise cancellation works when it does work and basically you get another icon which says update so you can see i'm on the latest version so you can see right here and if you want to update, you have to put your earbuds back into the case. Otherwise, this thing will just keep on checking for updates. I don't know, it's just a software issue again, I guess. Um, but the good thing is that Huawei is actually keeping this product alive with uh, software updates. I mean, that's a great thing. So if you have any issues, at best if you give your feedback to Huawei themselves. That's about it for my experience with the Huawei FreeBuds. It is not perfect, but if you consider the price, this is probably the best alternative right now. If you don't want an in-ear design, you want an open back design, this is the best solution. And the most comfortable of all earphones that I've tried, and I can wear them for hours just like my AirPods, but of course this has noise cancellation. I hope they do fix the issues that I mentioned in this video. Otherwise, if you're looking at this for a while, I should say, just get it. It's a really mature product right now. And there will be more software updates to come, I'm very sure. Okay, so that wraps up this video. I uh, hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. So I'll see you guys in the next video.